Greetings to all participants. We are going to talk about the battery technology for electric vehicles. So probably you all uh, are interested uh, in battery related uh, electric vehicles. We are thinking about electric vehicles which depends on the evaluations of the batteries. Battery has been born before the ICE. You probably know the electric city, electric vehicles before 2020 during the ta the period of using hybrid We used nickel metal hydride or lithium ion in 2025. We're not sure if you would use the energy storage or what kind of batteries. Probably the participants would help to us to think about it. We are going to talk about the battery technology in EV. Nowadays, we the evaluation. The revolution is from from hybrid electric vehicle to EV is from the battery advancement. If you talk about the proportion, if it's BEV, it's about 100 kilowatt per hour. So we need to consider if the battery would be in the EV would weight, how much would it weight? Probably it's about four ton think about the space probably it's about a thousand lit liter lithium ion create the breakthrough of ev the size and the weight is decreased four times and it would install in EV, especially BEV or or a full loaded EV. If it's hybrid EV, so PHEV or HEV would use the small battery. During the liberation of a lithium-ion battery, there are many types of batteries. We're not going to talk about, about it in details, but I want to show you that the lithium-ion revolution with high energy is from the mat specific material. The type of battery we use nowadays called 
according to the plus plus electrode LFP the battery is about 3 volts using the LFP materials the battery in the cell phone is the <coughs> for different type of batteries is probably NCM or NCA this type is the lithium is the name of lithium ion basically the type of lithium battery in summary there are many types of batteries Sometimes we call it according to the materials of minus, for example, lithium titanate or CL. Pretty lab, we will call it according to the minus. Now we look at the components of the general electronic vehicle. As I mentioned before, there are different types of lithium battery. So the GPX company have touched upon this point before. For example, lithium, nickel, cobalt, aluminium or NCA which is offered to Tesla car. At a later on stage, at for the BMW car or Mercedes-Benz, we use lithium nickel magnesium cobalt or NMC mainly. But before But before, the battery that mostly used in the past are the lithium manganese spinal and the lithium iron phosphate. Even though for the Tesla in the old model, we also use the lithium iron phosphate. For the lithium titanate, we use at present as well, but not as much. We cannot say what type of battery is the best or is used frequently. However, the company will choose and pick different type of battery that make it suitable for the vehicle there's many concerns that you have to looking at for example the cost the specific energy specific power safety lifespan and the performance so with the tesla company tesla used lithium nickel cobalt aluminium because they're not concerned about the cost and the price of the battery well in the near future the cost can be very is a issue because we have to look at the cost of the battery as well in order to produce an electronic car. 
you will not see lithium manganese spinal battery as much because of the performance and the safety are not as high as others batteries. At present, we use lithium iron phosphate because of the specific energy it's quite high. The performance is high as well. We mainly use this type of battery on trucks and buses. But the disadvantage of lithium iron phosphate is the, spe the specific energy are quite low compared to the rest. With the lithium titanate or anode, the performance is good, the lifespan is good, the specific power is great, however, the costs are very expensive. So therefore, we don't really use this type of battery, only on a perform high performance car. So the question is, what type of battery we should use? Though the answer is not what type of battery we should use, but it depends on the purpose of the business and each vehicles for example we have to look at who's the customers and what type of vehicle we produce here are the two scenarios as you can see there's a different percentage for what type of battery to use with the electrical vehicle scenario, scenario 1 and scenario 2 nickel cobalt put, uh, is fine is hard to find so nickel cobalt would be high proportion we cannot tell this time when we design the EV we need to design for the next generation so we need to think about the problems so we need to think about the client specification so we need this is the sample of the survey the limitation of the user how do they feel why they don't use EV this is the report from the survey that they check out or do the survey in each country if they can rise up these struggles driving range cost or charging infrastructure time required to charge fifth safety uh, battery six is the market model or market uh, specification. There are different kind of model, but they do not have SUV yet. The last one is the brand. The preferable brand doesn't have, doesn't support EV yet. So all this concern, most concerns, whether driving range or cost or time required to charge, or safety it's all concern battery technology what does it mean it means EV adaptation would occur we need to cross over this sort of problems we need to make the better batteries today's To make the battery better, there are four sector sections. 
So where are we now? How can we develop driving range cost? How we decrease the cost? And how could we shorten the time required to charge? So we need to think about the trade of the battery, the, the battery in EV. If we have to have long charge, there would be the specific energy density or the charging load per weight or per lit. The body of the vehicle is, uh, the space is limited. So we need to make sure we can place the battery in the vehicle. The battery need to uh, distribute the power. So we need to consider about the specific power density, the weight, would distribute the electricity so in so inside the battery how much the electricity would be loaded we also need to think about the cost that they we usually concern In the cell battery, probably uh, at least cost 100,000 baht. So EV would be pricey because of this. To change the battery, it's every two years. For example, in the lead, the maintenance would, be, would cost more. And the cost that the owner sh the owner need to pay for, because each change would take about three to four hundred thousand baht. Uh, the life span would affect the cost. The short lifespan or long lifespan. So if the battery is not used, just parked, just leave it alone, the battery would be dead as well. So the battery has their lifespan probably changed every one or two years. So the battery for EV, the user expect the uh, lifespan for uh, 7 to 10 years the battery would be acceptable. Before we have the battery formable for two years, it's the lifespan for the cell phone. But the battery for the EV would be 7 to 10 years. There would be the jump, jump start of the EV. Also, the battery must be able to use in different range of temperature, even minus 15 uh, Celsius. Even uh, at the snow climate, it would work as well. Or if it's in the heat temperature, it still works. Efficiency of the battery. If it's full loaded, 100%, but we can use only 
but let's say we pay four baht, but we only can use two baht, so we lost two baht. If it's low efficiency, we can lose the energy for nothing. When we when it produces the energy, it releases the carbon as well. If it's high efficiency, it will uh, affect the greenhouse. If we don't use the energy, Okay, with the battery, lifetime battery. So uh, if you don't charge the battery, you will see that if we rec don't regularly charge the power, then the lifetime will be shorter. As you can see, sometime when you don't charge the battery for two months, then the battery will be out of order. Or the battery will damage. The battery need to recharge quite regularly, maybe once a week. Okay, so how we try to find the better batteries? Of course, we have to buy the better batteries, but we have to concern about the cost. The cost have to be low, obviously. The energy density have to be smaller and lighter and longer range capacity. Then the better battery should be able to faster charge time, for example, seven kilograms. No, the power densi density have to be fast charge watt per kilometers. The battery need to have the cap the ability to fast charge in order to drive in the longer system distance. Also with the cycle life, the cycle lifetime have to be a long, longer cycle. The lifetime should be up to about a thousand times, not just for 500 lifetime. We're talking about the smaller size and the lighter weight battery. How can we achieve this energy density? What hour per kilogram or liter? The energy density since 1990 well it's less than 100 watt per gram In the, in the future, we try to achieve the energy density, especially in the USA, try to achieve the battery up to 500 watt per kilograms in 2020. However, in Japan, they aim 
to rising up to 500 Watt per kilogram in year 2030. Whereas in China aim to achieve to 300 Watt hour per kilometers in 2020. In China, try to achieve this in 2020 with cooperate between the Chinese government on the road at the moment with the China in China at the moment be able to achieve CATL 279.56 Watt per kilometers and for SKI 269.44 kilo hour per kilo and the LG Chem those are from the China however with the US battery try to achieve to 500 watt hour per kilometers in 2020 Most car users, what they're concerned about is the distance, the distance to drive with the electronic vehicle. However, we have another point to mention is the power density. We talk about the quality of the battery. How can we adapt and make the battery can fast quite sharp, quite fast? Can we make fast charging? If we want to have the speed fast, fast speed uh, charging, can we use the capacitor? Uh, we can charge. We can make fast charge, but there li there is limitation. This there would be. Uh, concerning specific energy at cell level, there would be the specific power at cell level. If it's coming up, it's going to be the capacity, fast charging. With the X would be long driving range. This graph is all about the different type of technology. The orange color is lead exit. Cadmium is sodium nicocori is pink. Lithium ion battery is blue and red. So we want the Battery for EV on the right side, light and long driving range and fast charge as well. In reality, to produce the battery, we cannot cover as a whole. The super cap has high power, fast charge, but it's just like when you run fast and you run out of energy as well. If it's long driving range with full loaded, it's just like a marathon runner. Able to run with a long driving range but cannot run fast. So, there is the limitation. If it's run fast, it would be 
small charged if it's long driving range but cannot make a fast charge so the lead exit also steadily developed So we talk about fast charge, we talk about the adaptation, we talk about cost, that's the main factor why we don't buy the EV yet until the policy of subsidiary in the mainstream or maybe under 1 million baht. If it's under 1 million baht, probably is more interesting to buy because it's close to ICE vehicles. So this is the hot topic for EV development. How can we reduce the price of EV? When we talk about the EV vehicles, we have to talk about the EV batteries. So we are talking about uh, what in the side the packs? We talk about materials, cell pack, vehicle integration. Uh, looking at the cost, the EV cost. This is Grand X in 2020 to 2030. So we, it's compared between ICE, V, and BEV. The Y is about the cost in production. The white to black color is the value of production in the vehicles. The cost of vehicles, the electric chemical, the value of the battery is the most cost of vehicles. So the reason why people don't use the EV because of the cost of vehicle. What can we reduce? Probably the assembly or the interior charge, the powertrain or the drive. The powertrain most basically it's it's uh, cost the same with the ICE vehicles, EV vehicle. The majority of the cost is from battery, which is the highest cost. That cost EV in a high price. So if we, we can reduce the cost of battery, that would be more acceptable for the market to buy the EV. EV used batteries. In 2013 to 2020, the average is, as a whole, the whole battery is $668 per kilowatt hour in 2013, decreased to one thirty-seven in 2020, which reduce a lot so the 
Average packs decreased. The pack is the main cost, main value. It's about 70% in the value pack. To reduce the price of the EV, we need to reduce reduce it as a whole. Probably the sales as much as we can, which is about 70%. This can reduce the cost of EV. So everybody wants to reduce the price as a whole. So we can, but how much can we reduce? Developer wants it to have high performance but lower cost. Reduce the cost, not like zero, but they need to compare what what would be the target to reduce. This is a graph shows the price of gasoline uh, dollar per kilon in X and Y is the price of so different colors tells the different type of vehicles look at the last line V V E V 200 that run 200 kilometers is in pink line this one is the discount if oil cost two dollars per kilowatt hour what is the cost of battery that would make the expense of the buyer would be a relevant relevant to the ICE engine vehicles consumer. Let's say three dollars per kilon. The price would be one hundred fifty dollars per kilowatt hour. If the price of the cost reached five dollars per kilon per gallon, the battery would be four hundred dollars per kilowatt hour. This shows the battery the cheaper so it could compare with the ICE vehicles value recently the booming of EV comparing the price of ICE and EV during the high price of gas they would turn to EV because it's uh, worth of money but this time is the war period and lack of raw materials so the battery's price that we talk about 137 or 100 per kilowatt hour jump up to 300 so the battery price is going higher and higher it depends on the unnecessary materials the 
transportation or logistic is also higher. So the sustainability, the raw material resources also need to be reduced. So in two years, it needs to reduce to $61 kilowatt hour. What would we do? That the battery price would be reduced. What did they do to reduce the price of battery? When the price of battery is lower, what happened? One part of it is the um, battery density. The graph in 2009 to 2000. 22 is dollar per kilowatt hour. The blue one is the re reduction price. The orange line is, is energy di uh, di density. When it's higher di uh, density, the price is lower. The price of the battery it depends on the material cost in kilogram. If it's one kilogram, can load more energy. One kilogram can load one dollar per one kilogram loaded 100 kilo kilowatt hour instead of 10 kilowatt hour which cost the density of battery decrease 10 times lower price need to be loaded with high charge distance okay here are the example of tesla battery in year 2020 um, the range has increased from the cell vehicle integration with the cost reduction the same with the cell design cell factory adult material cathode material and cell vehicle integration we try to achieve the reduction up to 56% reduced by 56% when we talk about investment per battery reduction we use millions and millions but be very concerned about to reduce the cost of investment. We have to invest in cell design, cell factory, and dot material, cathode material, and also cell vehicle integration. Have to combine together. They are all connected.
we try to aim for the electrical vehicle to be cheaper price with the high capacity. That's what we try to aim at achieve for the future. Now we look in, into different approaches. For the first one, we look at the economy of scale with the Giga Factory. We have Giga Factory, so many Giga Factory in Europe. With this approach, we concern and focus on economy of scale. Second approach is the optimized manufacturing process. What we try to achieve is by one, robotic and automation. So we try to use the robot instead of the human resources. If we use the robot or automation, then we can achieve higher yield. There will be, there will be less mistakes and the quality control are easy to, easier to achieve. Secondly, we look into minimize processing step. For example, there's an announcement between the dry electrode process with all the company that using this process are, for example, Tesla, LG, Broadbit, for example. As you can see from the graph on the right hand side, here are the process of Maxwell dry electrode process. With this process, this will reduce the cost The third approach is to improve cell design. We achieve this by first, less inactive material. Why use less inactive material? For example, we use semi-solid cells or we can use larger or new cell format. For example, we change to use 4826 format from Tesla company or we use 27500 cell or cell to pack or blade format that's company that used by CATLE s -Walt. Or we use new cell design. For example, we can use tablets. And the fourth approach, we look into new chemistry. So we need to develop the cheaper raw materials and energy dense can store more energy. Now here the last slide, this is a future development through total value chain. There's six steps needed between raw material, material part, cell single unit, system integration, and so on. Some, some of us ask, 
what's caused the battery uh, burn out or get fire the reason is if it's external use if it's in the high heat environment or if it's more than 60 temperature or Celsius that could change uh, from the liquid to gas and cause explosion so once the combustion occur it could get fire so we need to be careful of how we use the battery or if there is the strong or violent crash it could cause the reaction of chemistry and it could cause fire if it's too fast charge if it's too high electric power it could cause the fire solid stage battery that use the chemis chemistry without causing fire so we can use the uh, heat Mater uh, protection material so that's the idea what you want to use to protect the fire